Physics is a weird GCSE because it can both be very difficult but also very easy. It can be difficult because there's a lot of really genuinely difficult concepts to grasp. For example, things like electricity or electromagnetism, which is in paper two, I personally really struggled to actually understand them. Whereas in a lot of subjects like maybe biology or even maths for some people, you can understand the concepts a lot more. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to be explaining what I would do and what I did the days before the physics exam. So this year is the last year that has the equation sheet for physics. And this is ridiculously useful. This is why physics for me, because I think I was the first year that had the equation sheet, was actually quite easy. Being given the equation sheet in the exam is just it's such a gift for physics because having to learn all those like 20 equations would be really, really difficult and time consuming. So this video is going to be focused a lot around that and how to use the equation sheet to your advantage, because honestly, that's going to be like, I think maths accounts for 40% of all GCC physics marks. Either way, it's going to be a large amount of marks. So before I get straight, before I get into this, please make sure you leave a like now and also subscribe. I'm doing loads of videos like this across the whole of GCCs for the, for the pure subjects. And I'm also commenting and answering all questions if I can. So. For the equations, the first thing I would do is learn the units. You need to know the units for these equations. Often they're quite self-explanatory, often you know them, but some uh, you can lose marks that a lot of other people are going to gain if you don't know the units. And conversely, you can gain marks that a lot of other people could lose by these mistakes. So what I would do to learn these units is I would first go through the equation sheet. I'd print out a couple or have it on my computer or whatever, and I'd go through and write down the units and I'd, I'd Google, I'd do whatever I could like that. So I had one with the units, and then I would like put that away and I'd get a new sheet and I'd write down the units from memory and I'd keep doing that and keep checking until I got it right and make sure I knew all the units. This is really important. I would dedicate some time to this. Alternatively, you could practice lots of questions, which I'll come to later, but that will also help you learn the units. Either way, it's really, really important to learn the units and using this will help you use the equation sheet to the best it possibly can be used. OK, second piece of advice is maths questions. This is probably where most of the difficult physics questions are going to be. There's going to be some five markers, I reckon, on maths. There were for me. It's very, very common to see long five mark questions that aren't as simple as just one equation. You know, you plug stuff in. There'll be lots of marks for that as well. But it's really, really important you practice these. For physics, this actually really helped me because I had a grade nine CGP physics book and I went through some questions that were quite difficult. And one of them that was difficult was like five marks that I did a couple of days before the exam. Actually, a very, very similar question came up in the exam. So my point here is I would go through some past papers, look at difficult maths questions, five mark questions, and make sure you know how to do them. Often, if you're quite good at maths or you have a good maths ability, this can be quite easy. And um, if not, then practice is definitely needed as well. So what, what I'd say is my one piece of advice here is often you need two equations. So you need to work out one equation and fit into the other. Small advice as well, make sure to always check units, okay? And this doesn't just mean, this could be like kilometres instead of metres, just check for small stuff like that. But practice lots of maths questions. This is where I focus on quite a lot of my practice, especially on the difficult ones. Just make sure you know how to answer the difficult ones. And also go through and make sure you learn the units of the formula sheet. This should You should be really positive about physics because actually it's really not as bad as many people think, especially with that. Next year will definitely be more difficult, but this year it's literally much, much easier than people think. OK, in terms of the actual content, like I said, there were some difficult concepts. I got lucky because I had exam information because of COVID and stuff. So they actually skipped out a bunch of electricity for me. But you're going to have to learn it. So I'd recommend just thinking as usual, as I'd recommend with the other sciences, at some topics you're bad at, maybe do some practice questions and just brush up on these. OK, go through science lessons or cognito or anything like that key topics like electricity, all those difficult stuff, and just make sure you, your knowledge on that is strong. It's those difficult topics that will catch you out. And a lot of the other topics in physics are quite self-explanatory, like types of four, stuff like that aren't so bad, in my opinion. OK, finally, the advice I have that I give for every science is lots and lots of practice. OK, go do loads of practice questions. That's the best form of revision for science. I did it in the lead up to all my exams is I just went through loads of practice questions and this massively helped. It's better than watching those YouTube videos. It's just going and revising and practicing these questions, marking them, seeing where you consistently get wrong, going over it all again. I hope that's helpful. Please also update me on how English is going, English literature, um, how that went, sorry, and just how your exams are going in general. It's always nice to hear how they go. My um, A-level start tomorrow, A-level politics, paper one, is tomorrow, so I've been preparing for that. 
Um, but yeah, I hope that video was helpful. Just a quick reminder, as usual, also make sure you go through your flashcards, but just stay positive about physics, okay? It can seem quite daunting to some and others, it may seem easy, but honestly, it's not that bad of an exam, especially if you can use the formula sheet well. Good luck.